Just looking, um, you will note in your uh, agenda that uh, there are they're not hard and fast limits, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a better job as chair and timekeeper to keep an eye on the clock. I think we spilled past quarter and nine last time, and we really we like to we like to be done with a little past eight, but sometimes there's big stuff to do. The pizza's um, too good. <laughs> yeah, we'll blame the pizza. Don't blame me. Um, public comment, any um, either live, remote, or uh, through co directors? No public comments. All right. Um, moving on to item three, and I'm glad it's early because um, then we can have more voting members. Um, yes, as I said, uh, otherwise, CJ, Chad, and David have to do all the heavy lifting tonight um, because as chair, I don't vote unless it's tiebreaker. Um, so third item is is to uh, vote on the uh, board candidates. Um, the last round, and I don't know if we just want to honor how we did it last time, both Chad and Rachel came on as a pair and we actually voted them mm -hmm. in as a, a team. We just thought in terms of like, one oh. up and then another one up seemed um, mm -hmm. a little like unnecessary. Um, so I I could accept a motion to um, no. nominate a slate of three candidates, Pam and Pat and Jess. Yeah, or, or you definitely. Could, yeah, we'd uh, you make would a motion to uh, um, nominate uh, all three to join the. the Appreciate it, Chad. Uh, so nominates, and we would need a second uh, for exception questions vote. Looks like there's some in the chat. Right? Yeah, we're we're down, Carlos. So. Um, I'll second it. Thanks, Dave. Seconds. <laughs> um, and we we heard from all three of you last time, uh, but we could um, extend discussion, or I could call the vote. Um, to people, I don't know, in, in uh, scouring through people's <laughs> resumes, have any um, uh, questions, or do people just if, if your floor floor is open uh, before the vote, and I'll. Uh, well, it seemed like some of them are more qualified than the rest of us. <laughs> I, don't it's I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Have me climbing down the ladder <laughs> relative to uh, skills. Uh, um, okay. Sounds like a little bit it's of not a pre acclimation. A little bit of a pre acclimation. Uh, or I'll just call the question. It sounds quiet. Um, all of those in favor of the welcoming uh, Helen, Pat, and Jessica to the, the Orca Media Board, um, please indicate by saying aye. 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 And do we have CJ on there? I, I, she, she definitely has an airplane icon. Does her airplane know how to vote? Did we hear her voice earlier before I got here? Mm -hmm. I haven't heard her. So oh. she's dialing. Massachusetts. She dialed in. It looks like a dial in. Yeah, there's two things. Can we hear her and does, do we know if she hears us? I'm sorry, I assume when I saw her, I yeah, thought we, had, know, we had clicked on yep. and we were. Have we established contact or is not, that. A, I just got the message from her. So, I, and what does it actually say? What is she saying there? Hi, host. The Zoom is giving me a message that I am listed as attending as a guest. Just letting you know. Can she hear? Yeah. Jen, are you able to? So I texted her and I'm chatting with her. So. I mean, it, it would actually pass with, with or without her, but let's get a clean vote. Because that's how we do things. <laughs> I wish if there's one thing that as a favor, 
if I could get like the old notes as like open, I'm guessing too. Yeah, yeah. Because I like to you know where those cheap. are. Oh. I don't need to do oh. it now. But oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, like, it's yeah, it wouldn't be hard to so. probably. Because I'm like a lazy video. No, no, that's 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 official. <laughs> that's what we call it official. Then do you, do you know where the minutes are stored? I can pull them up. Are they in the front room? Um, no. I was going to say, because he's on Google Drive. So what I'm going to do is just, now that I have my mouse on my side. There you go. Um, give them a link. Yeah. So. Yeah, there you go. Because then you're just using that as a template, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah one general good idea. I'm actually, and you may want to also, um, as we solve the closing out of this vote, um, wouldn't hurt to take a look at the minutes of our uh, June meeting and just uh, because we will be approving these minutes. So we have to type over any inaccuracies and then Jen will just keep us posted on the connectivity. But now we don't have dead space. Everyone's busy reading less and just uh, do if it does trigger a thought, it may be something for the whole business. We really don't want to rediscuss the items. It's just a, did we successfully document the items? It's the question. Uh, so, so we've lost our public commenters. Uh, we didn't lose them. We just had there were had some it. that were sometimes oh, you, longing to be you, with us. Oh, oh you rem yeah. remember some regular ones? Yeah, I think Sorry. yeah we. When we were at the center, we had some regulars. Yeah. I like the uh, addition of the little target times on here. Yes, I agree. Yeah. 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 That's helpful to me. I think they're in, they're in range. We gained five minutes with the public phone. Huh. Yeah, we're sort of double dipping right now. We're a little ahead of us also. So. So, uh, you got spell your name? Okay. That's why I like to use the template. I before he. Oh, on a uh, regular meeting. Yeah, part three. Meet yeah. three. Three B. Three B. Yeah. It's not April or May. What word is that? Yeah, use the last name. So I change his name. Right. Right. Oh, my last name. Oh, okay. Also just applies. Oh, your name follows the rules. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. One of the things about you that follows the rules. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this thing is that like, I think it depends on German versus like I could write a friend who's like who had a, an I E last name and I he explained it to me one day. Oh, I don't know. Is, is, is it German? Yeah, name? well, my name's Dutch, so Dutch? I, but I don't. Okay, I'm not that, that may be different than super knowledgeable about yeah, them. Yeah, I thought it made a difference whether you were weird or not. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think one. it's the other way from German to Hebrew. Yeah, right. Yeah, because I've seen the B. But it's, I think it's, it's Dutch versus German is is the difference. Right. That's good. I have ADD. <laughs> Nothing from you, Susan? No, I texted and on here again. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I choose half. So the fact that her icon here means she must have called in. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I could hear that. I was not able to hear all of the commentary. Are you able to hear me? Yes, yeah, we, we are. Hear you. Finally, yes. Well, all of a sudden you're in the middle of the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time speaking. I've just been listening. So CJ, it's a bit of a you're you're coming in at a um actually in the midst of a vote. I don't know what you heard, but because I heard that you're what I heard is that you're proposing to I think I heard that you're proposing to accept all new board candidates on a single vote as a slate. Yes, in the tradition of um, Rachel and Chad's edition. And um, that the vote was actually called. Um, I assumed you were 
you are um, active and live. Your icon is up. And um, we've got um, we've got a vote. And um, are you a yay, nay, or abstain? <laughs> Uh, I'm an A. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for joining and being willing to serve. Yeah, by acclamation, uh, much appreciated the um, the expertise and uh, breadth of um, skill sets just just uh, increased immeasurably. So thank you so. Um, we'll try not to make this volunteer position too much of a burden, but it, 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 it's happy to have you. Your fires, you know, a little heart and a little time. Um, and yay, is it is it actually by acronym? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank, thank you. you. Thank, 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 you. Um, thank you. Thank you. So and you now can um you know do things like move to approve the minutes, which is our next um item for uh the June 27th minutes. CJ, we didn't lose too much time because I just requested that people peruse those June minutes. And uh we did catch a typo with um Chris's name, uh, and it's basically floors open for any other catches people have. There is there is one cleanup necessary. Are there more people catch any other? Oh, grammatical spelling and or factioning. That's a rare, a rare find. Yeah, I'm gonna have to abstain. Believe it or not, I don't recall. Um... <laughs> discussing a recommendation from Edward Jones to shift from the CDs into more bonds. And so I'm going to go back and have to, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm going to have to go back and check with Mark Gwynn on that. That's from section uh, five financial reports, section B. Uh, so I'm just going to request that uh, uh, that I, you know, I be allowed to abstain on this section at least and come back with a, uh, with a review and. You always can. Yes. Um, B which one two one through five is there a particular one or all of B? B two. No, it's B2. it's number yes two. number two. Gotcha. Okay. And um, none of that was binding, right? It was just a, no. You were capturing a, con a conversation. Or, correct. Or, yeah, you're, we're just catching a conversation, and I'm like, holy cow, maybe it's yeah. early senility, but <laughs> I'm drawing a blank on that. Mark is the source of that recommendation. Maybe that's the issue. But something like that is like, oh, yeah, we need a noun to go with that. We need to turn recommendation, the noun, into a verb and, and get find out who actually made that recommendation. That no, he was. wasn't in the meeting. And so it's a quote of me stating that there's a recommendation. And I apologize, but because uh, I, you know, these are beautifully presented. I am simply drawing a complete blank. I don't recall that recommendation. Um, and you could you could suggest we strike it. Or abstain, either or. But right now we have a a, a, a typo on Chris's last name. Any others? <laughs> <laughs> sure, we could move to strike number two, um, or I can just uh, that'd be nice and clean. Thanks. All right, we will, striking number two, and it's still you know nicely done, chat. We still capture a nice robust conversation. Um, if if there's no other catches, people want to add to the pile. I, I could entertain a motion to accept these minutes with an expanded board. We could share the wealth a little. <laughs> Who wants to make the first motion with their lives on the well, other media? Move to accept. All right, CJ is so moved. And uh, we need a second. I second. Thank you, Heather. Yeah. Uh, okay, we've got a, a motion and a second to. Uh, yeah. Except the June 27th, 2023 minutes. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 And oppose. And abstainers, unnecessary with the striking. Sounds unanimous. So and, may um, I just ask a question? So certainly, yes, yes. Yeah. That's an important discussion that we were having. Um, should it be flagged for, so we don't forget it? Because it says recommend Edward Jones to begin to shift funds from for two yeah. CDs. At some point, you, you should bring it back to the agreed, and that's system. exactly right. Thank yeah. you for like not I hate using, to have that drop. Right, and but not using the approval of the minutes to have the conversation, right. but to tag it right. for old business. Right. Um, CJ may touch upon it in the treasurer's report, and um, I do know myself, CJ, Mark, 
and my doyle are planning to meet. Oh, good. So the, in terms of like the drop yeah, off, I just would hate to see it. No, that's that's really important. As things when do. We, when we approve minutes, it does jog memories, and then it's like, oh yeah, we got to right. make sure we follow through Thank on you. that. And that often drops into old business, but it may pop up sooner. Um, let's see. Well, now I'm looking. I gotta get back to today's agenda. Uh, yeah, item number five is financial reports, which will, is shared between CJ and usually to Jim. That's you guys got that one two punch coming up. Mm -hmm. So, um, CJ, do you want to start or do you want me to start? And you go ahead and then I'll follow up. Thank you for asking. So, um, just, you know, the budget versus the budget versus actuals, um, there's, I think the only thing that in terms of where we are, we're pretty good on everything. The salary was a little bit high and I wrote that in um, the code director's report that it just was an extra payday that got paid out on the 30th. And so normally it'd be like spread out. So it'll be fine. It's just three pay periods got paid out in June and that's where it kicked us over. A short month, that's funny, it just fell that way. So, um, I think, and then outside of that, I think we're on the, I think we're doing okay um, on everything else. Uh, is there any questions about the budget numbers? Can I ask a question? On advertising, you spent year to date, what is it? I can't even see my card. $15, but you have 2,600 set aside. It's a budget. Just curious what the plan was for the 2,700 and um, I think with advertising, it was whether we were going to do some like for the summer, the general items that we do advertising for are the summer camps and the um, if we have any jobs or camera operators. So yeah. we've been pretty good about not having to purchase any advertising okay, for yeah. jobs. And I think with the summer camp, by like flagging all the like schools and stuff, we yeah. were able to get enough campers to be able to have that so okay. we didn't need well, to necessarily cool. I don't want you to spend it necessarily yeah. but I so, that's a, quite a difference so that's cool so those are I think where the advertising and then it could be like later on for if we're doing other maybe other programs that we might need advertising yeah. for so I think that's where we okay. just kind of thank you that's a nice catch and actually the 60 40 right above it outreach is actually over yeah and some of the you know some advertising and outreach the expense it could, right. could be quite similar. Yeah. They are, and it could be that, um, and then there's some where it's, um, it's, I think, and I'm trying to remember how it gets separated out, like the camera operators are for, that would go in advertising, like if we did an ad for the annual meeting might go into outreach, uh. so it's, but, and I think it's also, I think it's been in the past kind of like fluid in terms of like if we ran out of money in outreach that we might it's like bounce start. into the advertising budget mm -hmm. and so but generally I think and outreach also has our digital programming so that's a monthly fee that we pay grace note to do the digital programming on the cable so that's always going to be in like there's a set amount that's always going to come out of outreach so if there's anything else that might be extra that it may be in there, but generally we're hoping that it should be roughly about the same that because so much of it goes to the um to the grace note and the digital programming parts. Thanks. Thoughts, catches, questions. Um, it's sounding quiet for Jim. Um, CJ, you want a treasurer's update? We were going to meet before um, tonight, but it uh, looks like it will be after him. Uh, um, sorry, say that again. Jim has just um, shared out the budget, and we had some questions, and then it got quiet. So um, additions from the treasurer. Yep. Uh, so from the treasurer, uh, the main key points is that um, from that year to date, our uh, overall account is up about two and a half percent plus or minus. Um, I sent an email to Mike Abadi with a summary and uh, we're looking forward to meeting with Mark uh, Gwynn at Edward Jones. 
and I've sent up an email requesting that meeting. The uh, rough breakdown of assets is about 8% uh, in cash or cash equivalents. Those would include the money market and the laddered CDs, which we entered into just prior to the last board meeting. We were fortunate to get rates that average around 5%. Um, and the laddered CDs mean, laddering means that we make the investments all at the same time, but we, we buy CDs that mature at different rates. So one matures at three months, one matures at six months, et cetera. I want to compliment the management team for identifying the fact that due to COVID, there was a large um, sort of rainy day COVID bonus in the company's, you know, sort of normal everyday account. We investigated together what the interest rate yield was because it was a significant six figure amount. We discovered that the yields there were uh, less than 1%. And the therefore taking something that's six figures and moving it over where it makes 5% produces an extra, you know, thousands of dollars um, of, of yield. And uh, so, you know, Jen was the one that said, hey, we had this discussion, should we do something different? And we investigated and that led to this positive development. So, you know, just want to recognize the teamwork and the initiative. The, uh, to continue the breakdown, there's, uh, the normal cash stuff rolls over. And then this is where the confusion may have come from. The normal yields of our investments do roll over and get reinvested. That's how they're set up. But the, um, the laddered CDs, that is a different matter. And uh, so right now we're in about a little over 50% bonds and bond funds about 30, uh, about, sorry, about 42% equity equivalents. And these are pretty conservative. And then um, the remaining is cash and cash equivalents. The guidance of the board uh, to Mike Doyle and now to myself has been, you know, these are, this is operating stuff. So, you know, it's produced last board meeting, we discussed the fact that it had produced at between six and 7% average in the 20 or so years since Mike Doyle initiated this strategy of let's take the money that we have that we don't need right now and put it into conservative investments. And that has turned out well for Orca. That concludes my report, uh, other than to say that as Mike Abadi said, we're looking for a meeting time for Mike Abadi, Mike Doyle, myself and Mark Wynn to follow up. And uh, that concludes my report. Any questions or comments? The floor is open. Mm -hmm. um, discussion points, questions. Just to that, and if we're ready to move on, I would accept the motion uh, to accept the financial report. I move to accept the report as presented. Thank you, Pat. And is there a second? Warrant further discussion. Second. Thank you. <laughs> and I did my second. <laughs> um, so uh, we have a motion and a second to accept the financial reports. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 And opposed. And that's unanimous. Much appreciated, folks. Um, we're doing pretty well with our timeline. Yeah, um, we'll so, ahead. Can I just could I have one pre, uh, uh, oh, secretary's please. boss? Please, yeah, please. Okay, like that. I, <laughs> I, I just want to uh, to indicate in the um, the minutes um, the new members' names, and I'm terrible at remembering uh, people's names and spelling I'm them. So, I'm so I that. would love to get that in here correctly. Okay. Do you want me to just message you right now with the names, but then you can have them to copy and paste? Yeah, is there? A, I'm not sure where where you would send it to on this computer. Uh, is there a document that I can hack into that he's on? <laughs> so yes, okay. it's um, if you go into the board packet yep. folder, okay. there's draft minutes, and it's August. Okay, board. So if you go into our board packet folder or not. You there? What's the name of the document, right? Uh, board meeting. Draft, draft it's draft minutes. minutes agenda, August 29th. Okay. 
that's actually a really good housekeeping item because getting you, we have a board contact page mm -hmm. oh, number right. email um and then knowing whether your the phone number is textable or not and if you preference oh, yes. email or, so um we have do you want that. us to email you our stuff right. all the stuff or um you might have it all you got it Jim, all. you know what happens you may be able to build it right now it seems we may not need I, you to actually write anything on paper. i got it right here so it's i'm just going to it's right contact's here. Contact's already contacted. It just needs to get on the, Somehow the everybody, everybody yes. page. I was like, so I guess, you know, what would be, mommy. be good is which email would be the best one? Because right. I think we have the, the vote for Vermont one yeah. versus... Let's do vote for Vermont. That's more yeah. my business. Well, here, I'll just give you the names. To start. Sorry. So, yeah. Sorry to add. I'm sorry. It's in Parker Board. One more time. I couldn't find it just by searching. Oh, okay. Do you want me to just bust in there then? Yeah, go ahead. And I will give you the names. We don't have them. Okay. So while they're doing that, can I just ask a question? Sure. Um, it's my learning learning curve. Yeah, there. no, keep me how talking. how do does this board and orca stack up with other boards and the in the orca and the public access world? Uh, do we ever look to see how others are doing? I have a reason for asking this, what others are doing and financially what the their status is um, I think a lot of those conversations yeah. happen in van. Yeah. Um, okay. I I don't know. I mean, I think we're like in terms of transparency, our, our board meetings go right, right, right up sure. on YouTube. Right. And I'm surprised, like, this thing has 20 hits already. It's been up two days. I'm like, okay, someone's watching. Watch I know. Because I'm just so curious people be great. Oh, yeah, I tell, I was talking to Zachary up is at Franklin County. Okay. They have got a studio. Knock your socks off. Yeah, they built new, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, it's, yeah. it's stunning. It's yeah. just, and I was just wondering when I come back here, and I'm like, how how did they do that? <laughs> and maybe there's something we we could learn mm -hmm. from from where they get their finances and resources because it is. I would move in there and make it my home. I mean, yeah. it's it's stunning. Yeah, I I remember when they posted pictures when they had their yeah, grand it's, opening, it's but awesome. I never. Been yeah, I was on a show up there one time, and it was the whole thing it was the studio, everything. The what furniture. did it replace, Pat? You know, uh, I, uh, yes, it was an old studio in town itself. Uh, in um, I don't know the name of the building, but it was old and it was needed. It certainly could have used some improvement, but this was improvement plus, it was just way beyond. Do they it's have gorgeous. a grand opening or something? I, I don't know. I just you was, go to the van, yes, and I don't know if they discuss that sort of like. Do we want to keep three quarters operating in reserve or a year and a half? Yeah, just or maybe just learning like, how it works in the we, public yeah, sector. Yeah, we do. I mean, so that's like a kind of a, I think, a pretty unique situation. Most they must have got most of the space. AMOs yeah. are renting spaces. Oh, okay. um, I did reach out initially when we were kind of just brainstorming the ideas of real estate, dabbling yeah. in real estate when we were talking about our reserves. Um, and I reached out to uh, what is his name, Matt, Northwest Access. Paul, oh, he's on the fan board as well. And um, yeah, he explained their situation, but I, I have it in writing somewhere and um, it was pretty unique. Yeah, and but they it was similar. They had a, a chunk of money and they basically, they took out a mortgage and they built well, a building. Yeah. They sure spent yeah. it well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's beautiful. Definitely, yeah. yeah. And there's not, I think, I, I, the, I did a little polling. I think there's two of the 24 that own a building, or, you know, so it's, oh, so it's it very pretty, yeah. Little, yeah. yeah. I'm just curious. I think the other ones are in Springfield and they bought a house that they've been in for nice. 10 years and they came up for sale and they ended up buying it. Cool. In a well, this there. is so, just, yeah. everybody has a chance to go up there. Oh. Which one are you talking about? In Franklin County. Is it, it's physically in St. Yeah. It, it might be, yeah, because that's where they had their their original offices or studio were right in downtown. Yeah, they have a picture of it right on their home screen. I mean, it's a cool, yeah, it's it's a nice cool. brand new yeah. Vermont looking in. Yeah. yeah, nice building. They don't have to share it with anybody that has a lot. They don't have to share it with anybody. Yeah. It's theirs. <clears throat> so, Pat, actually, a little work of bragging. Our move from city center to here, um, I think our our rent went down near the yeah, third, yeah, right. and then right. we're on top of it. I just missed the beer after the show. Oh, right. <laughs> it's good. Three pennies. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, but that's, that's okay. okay. <laughs> it's yeah. it's, right. it's a have. good question in that if the rent is high enough to offset the cost of a mortgage, 
There you go. Nice. And we know we, you know, no one's predicting anything about BCFA, but we may be making decisions again about right, where right. we are physically. So, so you know about Greenway sale, Rebecca Holcomb? Yeah, yeah. In terms of figuring out what to do with these buildings, well, they have yes. said they're, they're they're architecture so they're just in the yeah, actually got that in the book. We can talk about that in a second. Okay, all right. It's it's gonna be that's probably in the next in the how are we with yeah. a pause? You should want to up. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. I'm looking ready to unpause. Lots to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Now my memory is that we did accept the financial reports yep. prior to the pause. Okay. And so we're in the co-director's report. <clears throat> all right. I'm gonna try to breeze through this as well. What, what's my time on here? Twenty minutes. Oh, we may have yeah. some time. Don't forget we have the video that we wanted to play. Right. The kids, okay. We can play do that. Like, yes, we can um, you have that queued up as well. Yeah, and if people have questions, don't feel like, oh, geez, ten minutes, I can't ask a question. Sure. But sure. Yeah, and the main is open. That's usually how we do the deadline. But, so, um, yeah, maybe for our new pacing is good. Too. Our new folks uh, with the co-directors report, um, we typically. Uh, lay out what's been going on the last two months, and uh, then when we do it live, we typically just uh, hit some of the highlights and exciting things that maybe uh, you might want some clarification around or something like that. But if you do read something that I didn't mention, feel free to stop me as well. So uh, if you all don't know, we've been partnering with the city, uh, Montpelier Live and the Montpelier Foundation um, as part of this uh, effort to uh, host a series three, a series of three forums called the Resiliency and Recovery uh, in Montpelier Forums. And um, so that we've been actively engaged with the kind of coordination and production and um, it's been great. So the first one took place up here at BCFA, and that was a full hybrid live stream with Zoom, and uh, and it was live on the channel. And uh, you can see we put some numbers in there. We had YouTube viewers at okay. 467, which was pretty good. So, um, and there was a ton of people there. We had uh, we also did live audio, which was interesting, and it went pretty well. We, um, yeah, given everything, uh, it was it, it went really well. The next one was even uh, a kind of a bigger thing you could see here that we did uh, an all hands on deck. We had 10 staff. We had five concurrent live streams, nine total meetings that we covered. And at it was the just same time. all at the same time, yeah, all throughout the breakout session, sessions, nine breakout sessions, yeah. and all preempting our, our oh, originally yeah, scheduled date they needed. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that's why we that's why we had to push the meeting. Uh, well, three of us. Three yeah, it was pretty wild, <laughs> but also went off pretty smoothly um and then the third one is planned um so this is actually incorrect we just found out that it's going to be at the high school next week mm -hmm. and so the third forum will be a, a kind of a voting on priorities forum right. is what we've heard and we're meeting tomorrow zach and i are going to the high school at the end of the day to look at the space to talk about the production needs and figure out what our plan is um yeah so that's that's great that's been huge um yeah. Anyone, so you're gonna have live stream online on the seventh as well. Yeah. So That's there's great. um it's been well that one might go back to the the full hybrid live stream with Zoom and yeah. YouTube and probably to the channel since it is more straightforward, similar to the first one. That kind of middle one with all the breakout sessions was a little bit That's tough to do. That was yeah, yeah. And so it wasn't so straightforward to send one right feed to the channel. So we could probably go back to the channel. What's week. the date of the high school? The seventh. The seventh. Yeah, you say it involves some voting, like for people so, prioritizing. Yeah, yeah, like you've got all these ideas. Yeah, because yeah. like just to, if you didn't know uh, how the format was, it was basically like the bird's eye view. It was like everybody was welcome to come, and it was like, what do you care about? What do you think the city should embark on moving forward? And you know, three hundred people were, or five hundred people were in the room. Three hundred people were on Zoom, and everyone had ideas, and it was awesome. It was pretty positive too, I think. And then. They kind of took it all in and then they digested it. And then the second forum, they were like, okay, here's the things that we think people are kind of interested in. Let's get a little bit more specific. And then they kind of came out of that second meeting with more, uh, even more kind of recommendations. And then now they're going to take everything from online, take everything that people have been writing up, take all the stuff in the meeting, and then be like, what did, what did these final, this final group? want to vote on for priorities and then it's all of this kind of like third party that's uh facilitating it and then they're going to recommend something yeah. to, to and where does the where does the recommendations go 
to the city council yeah, or to I the guess, state house? No, I, that's or a good question. It's probably going curious. to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Rioga, um, this foundational institution, they yeah. will, I don't know, um, complete something kind yeah. of report. Yeah. Then it will come to city council. Exactly. It's a great yeah. idea there. But Paul's so good at this. Yeah, Paul's been great. I mean, that's yeah, his, Paul, that's his yeah. shtick. I laughed when they said they were going to do breakout because I never imagined a meeting with Paul without a breakout session. That's his thing. Oh, really? Yeah. So I was glad that he finally got to do his breakout session. Yeah. yeah. So there's tablets, right? People yeah. Are writing that. Cool too, yeah, yeah. So they will combine all of them. So I uh, actually attended both Zoom one and um, YouTube, like leaving thing. Mm -hmm. Zoom is better, I think, because I can like write right away. Yeah. When uh, when I was watching um, through YouTube, I felt Second, like it's yeah. just kind of a, I felt myself excluded from right. the yeah. conversation. And everything it's like watching a movie, yeah. right? right? But right. with Zoom, you feel like oh, I'm in the room, yeah. Yeah. right? Because you can just uh, engage. I uh, totally with, agree. Yeah. Yeah, and we did hear that actually from a number of people that were also in the room and like. Uh, who had uh, different accessibility issues and they were like, you know, Zoom by default has better captioning than YouTube as oh, well. So, yeah. and it is a little bit more immediate with the chat yeah. and the response. I think that they had a difficulty as far as them having to hold the breakout sessions through Zoom and manage them. They weren't, they kind of, they just weren't, they were unsure and they yeah. wanted to do Yeah, you were doing great. Yeah. Your part was great. Yeah. It's just the, I think, technology, yeah. like digital tool, right. uh, this three institution um, wanted good. to use. But uh, I, I felt that Zoom is better, like more interactive. That's good. And I can, too, yeah, I can yeah. see that everybody, yes, during the meeting, mm -hmm. of course, it is difficult to read all the comments, right, but right. they're the written right. form. And then you can so, download yeah. that too. Yeah, and that was what the, was I think was so great about the first one too. Yeah, mm -hmm. is there there a compilation of all the ideas from all the forms? Yeah, I, I mean, is ideally, yeah. I, I think, think it's kind of live, right? Is I think, it on Vermont Live? Uh, so uh, Katie Trouts, I call up, and so, Katie Trouts that would have it. I feel like Montpelier, the Montpelier Foundation and Paul Costello, I think he's got it all. And I'm hoping yeah, like the, that it's I'll probably, they may I'll not do, have a be. final document till four and three. So he's got all that That's data. Right, yeah. And then four and three will have know. more. And hopefully there'll be I'll some. Yeah. <laughs> and I think all the Padlets are still available. Yeah, so Padlets you are can really still cool kind of read through the Padlet yeah. stuff yeah. and look at the raw data. And we have the videos available if you <laughs> wanted to watch them too. Yeah, cool. <laughs> So well, he's oh, going to have to have something yeah. for the third form because people are going to have to reference yeah, what was those, said. So yeah, there's been a lot of recommend. We actually had some recommendations from like our accessibility. Oh, folks interesting. Too. Yeah, yeah, which is awesome. Yeah. Whatever happened to the old ideas that they had about ten years ago? Well, when that's another remember, conversation. Remember they As the, I don't know. Remember that, there was going to be a lift from uh, National Life to come downtown? That sounds great. Yeah. Oh, I remember. I was remember that? Yes, I do. As he looks at me, the older person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah where'd that go? Yeah, she was. So, I mean, I just didn't know those ideas. I resurrected an old idea and almost got killed again about dredging the rivers. Because I know the A&R thing, you, you know, but there's a way to dredge because that dredging wasn't always there. It moved there. So there must be a way to, to under A and R supervision to dredge and make more room for the water. Well, you guys got to get on the padlet. Oh, I did. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. That's what it's for. So I hopefully A and R to come to my house and beat my door down. Sure. Is our our YouTube capturing of a meeting also capture? Can you read? Is it are, are the Zoom comments readable along the side or no? That's so, like, you'd have to go somewhere else to see that. Yeah. So okay. I think like Thank the you. first time where it was where we were facilitating their Zoom, like it was so much. I think there was a lot of chatter on the chat. So it's like we could have it as open and like kind of like there to be viewed. Mm -hmm. So that's always an option. Just like here, we've got it right. like yeah. that. Perfect. So we could live stream that. So it comes to whether they. It, but it's also. I think information like in terms of like their login information. So I don't know about mm -hmm. like privacy, mm -hmm. like yeah. if you're like we'll what you would feel comfortable with. So that's where maybe it's a little research by yeah. necessary before. Yeah. Gotcha. Which so, is also, I think, like some of the issue with you could hypothetically also comment on YouTube, but that's not really that's like notoriously faulty and full of bots and stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, the Zoomers are true participants. Right? Yeah, exactly. They have to right, they, they at least somewhat log in and put a name in or something. Yeah. yeah, so there's some 
yeah, so that's been great. And you all should tune in or attend on seven. Uh, much like COVID, it's showing us to be an essential service. Yeah, and I think that that's, we felt very, uh, we yeah, we got a, uh, a live thank you from Paul at the end in, in, the, in the big group. And um, so there's been a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of gratitude has been shown to Arca Media for our uh, support and our, um, yeah, our, our production. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. It's, um, so I'll move to the outreach and community partnerships uh, section. So we had a successful summer. Um, at July was beyond the everything that was happening in, in July. Uh, we also had the week of the Vermont Youth Documentary Lab, and we had the week of the Make TV Camp. Actually, fun fact: the Vermont Youth Documentary Lab. Uh, the flood happened during that week. And um, so we kept going. It's a good day off and came right back. So the the students um, uh, in both weeks produced some really great work. And I think we have a clip to share. Maybe I'll finish this little section here. But um, the other thing is that uh, is worth mentioning is that Peter Hirschfeld and Bob Kinzel um, have been temporarily uh, squatting, uh, professionally squatting in our offices here from Vermont Public. So. Uh, you know, uh, some great, um, some statewide, you know, the, the Montpelier, uh, I guess they're the state house journalists, state house reporters, and um, they're here now until September. So that's been really great to help them out. Their and, office got flooded. Yeah, their office got flooded so, downtown Montpelier and they've been up here ever since. So that's been nice to be nice, able to help nice them time. out. And um, they also, you know, it was nice they made a donation to Orphan Media. And Peter Hirschfeld will be our guest uh, speaker at Thursday's annual meeting. So that'll be nice. He'll say some kind words towards the archive. You've got Bob here. Bob and Peter switched. So Bob is okay. out actually with some family and Thank you. stuff. Yeah. So um, yeah. So Peter will be here. Yeah. So we could clip, uh, cut to the video if you want, or we can do it at the end of the report. Oh, so I was like, the, is the Make TV one. I don't think I have the youth documentary. Oh, that's yet. fine. Yeah, yeah. But you can share it. Yeah, we'll be showing that stuff we can, too. I was like, we can meeting. show it at the end. So yeah, yeah, let's do it again. Um, so then moving to, to that strategic plan, um, as you know, our uh, other, our, uh, not our new folks, but uh, um, our, we've been, just embarking on this uh, strategic plan and we paused it because um, we were so excited to uh, have some new board members. And so uh, we've done some kind of like backend work and we've put together some some documents, but we've uh, we've paused the work with our consultant, Nathan Suter, and we're hoping to uh, step back into that with the new board members and so that we can have everyone's full uh, participation. And that the next uh, step would be tentatively a board retreat. That would be like a longer meeting where we would really uh, look at our, our goals and objectives. And we were kind of starting to rewrite our mission statement a little bit. And we're kind of taking ourselves into modernity. I said, we do have, a, we do have it on the agenda. So we'll oh, do- Oh, sorry, I was gonna say, yes. So, like yeah, yeah, we'll come, we'll come, come right back to that. I, and I mentioned yeah, it uh, Can I ask something? Okay. Yeah. If it is very naive question, uh, please bear with me. Would the APM the longer version? Oh, Alliance for Oh, community sure, community. Alliance for Community Media. Okay, yeah, that's. I'll be right back. That's fine. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Alliance for Community Media is um, the na national uh, group that uh, kind of advocates for and unites. The community media centers and public access TV organizations around the country. So, thank you. Yeah, uh, Zach attended the, the the annual conference in Brooklyn just this summer. So, how many states are represented? Um, how many states? I'm not sure how many. Not every. I don't know if it was every state, but almost all of them. So, there's people from Hawaii and Alaska there. Do the uh, do we pay dues to ACM? Yeah. Are they just going up? Are they going up? I was like, I don't remember a noticeable increase. Yeah. I think we in our budget we put it in the dues, and it was just the regular increase that we put in. But I haven't seen like anything as much as like the dues for the van folks. Yeah, the van, the van I've probably noticed we've gone up more so, um, but not, I don't think so. I well, think it's been, are there minutes of that annual meeting? 
Are there minutes of the annual or uh, some compilation that they turn out at the end of having from the Brooklyn? I'd conference. really like to see the stuff. Yeah, from yeah. all over the country. Yeah, I mean, there's. I'm sure it's available on. Uh, uh, it okay. was at Brick in Brooklyn, and we could probably find it in the okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, and they keep an eye on like legislation in DC and yeah. like their. Yeah, it was cool. Zach took a picture picture of their Emmy uh, case. They won a yeah. I mean, yeah. Brick Arts and, and as an organization has done some really great work over the years. So you know who the big money is that started ACM? Who the big money is that started? they must have gotten a grant somewhere to have it. I don't know the origin of them. Yeah, I mean, or the as an organization. I mean, it, I think well, they're funded. But they're really on our dues. I mean, it just seems like. There also might be an angel someplace or some family name or something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know the origin. Maybe. Yeah. yeah I, don't know. I can look it up. Yeah, yeah. Alliance for Community Media. Um, so our staff and interns, section, you can see here that our uh, intern, Juna, has uh, uh, completed more or less her summer here and is working to complete her project. Um, but she was super supportive during our summer camp, the McKinney camp, and did a whole bunch of odds and ends around the office too and pushed some paperwork, I guess. Yeah, did a lot of things. Um, so maybe Jim, do you wanna hit the finances again or sure. do we need to? So like the finances are just, you know, we got the Comcast check and you'll see. Um, and so I think the trend is still there. There's a decline. So it's, um, it's expected. It's, I guess we're expecting it to decline and it is showing that it's declining. It's not declining in a rapid way that we're concerned. But um, so I think, and then the tax return got filed and I sent it as part of the email. I, I could send it, I didn't send it to you. I was like, but, um, and so if you need me to resend it, I didn't know like if Rob in the past had always gave you a copy of the tax return to brew like Peru. it was shared terribly far and wide okay so but in any case it, it's in there and it's also in the google drive so um i think there wasn't i'm not sure i didn't notice anything odd on it i at the same time i i haven't looked at all the other previous <laughs> um tax returns so outside of that and then as um christopher mentioned that they don't the vermont public donated two thousand dollars for use of space and compost services. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So outside of that, I think um, just the numbers and nothing outside um, super intense. I think um, I've been work like, so I think that's it on the finances. Uh, uh, production of a commercial during the annual meeting is a great idea. And those are, are those the same two students from last mm -hmm. annual meeting? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we're going to have to Sorry, I'm yeah, talking yeah, about that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're great. The two brothers. Um, so the statewide mm -hmm. stuff, regional, actually, we do have some regional news. Um, the ACM Northeast, which is the local New England and New York chapter, the conference is coming this year to yeah, so Burlington on oh, November nice. 15th. So that could be a wide invite. Anyone, anyone yeah, oh, for sure. Members? As soon as we, I could send the, the website around. I think it's yeah. already, you're able to register it out. Was it CJ? Could we group register or? Um, so, focus out a little. Yeah, I can check that out here. Let me worry. Can you make the decision about where it comes every year? What do you mean? The ACM annual meeting. Who makes the decision of where it's going to be hosted? Um, I think they have a, a committee, a steering committee. Yeah. I was wondering whether Burlington was active enough uh, to, have this, a, a to have a national have it, meeting. You know, yeah, just have perhaps. a national meeting. Yeah. I mean, the Burlington's having the Northeast Conference in 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 November. Um, it was in Providence last year. Yeah. Typically, yeah. It was in Providence last year. But typically, the annual meeting of the the national group, yeah. the ACM, is usually in a city, and they kind of bounce okay. back and forth. I, I got the stuff bigger, you yeah, the bigger. annual meeting coming. Yeah, yeah they can take it. Seem not a lot of people. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so you were curious about uh, registration. Yeah, I would imagine sure. with a with a kind of a local option, it'd be great um, to make it possible for any and all interested board and staff. Make an approach. Yeah, so take a head count and and you can see um I'll be 
organizing and hosting, co-hosting a panel um, on youth media um, in Vermont. So um, it's coming quick. So that'll be exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and then the upcoming stuff is really uh, the the big thing is the annual meeting this Thursday evening, which you're all uh, invited to uh, come with you and yours. Um, and it's lovely food. Five to seven. Five to seven. Uh, Five thirty. We'll probably do our little. Um, we'll hear from Peter. We'll hear from myself, and then usually our board chair says a few words. Uh, very few, and then yeah. just have to uh, <laughs> Yeah. So I think, yeah, that's the idea. And then there'll be uh, food, raffles, hallway games. It's all right here. It's all here. It's yeah. right here. And, and, uh, and commercial making. That's a great Yeah, so Gardner and Campbell are coming in, and they're going to get a couple prompts from me, and they're going to do something. They were the ones that were doing the interview interviewing sure. last year. So this this year, I think their focus is going to be a little bit more like, well, what we've been hoping to do is like capture something that's like exciting about like how do you engage with Orca. So that's their that's their mission. Do you able to fly in the state house that second meeting? Really <laughs> <didn't know>. like <laughs> yeah, I did invite some people, uh, and I think Paul and Evelyn. Yeah, and I shared it with uh, Montpelier Live, which is cool. Okay, thank you. They reposted it, which is hopefully you know we don't get flooded with too many people. We'll see. Yeah, so. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Wow. Sorry. Bad habit. Yeah. So that's it for that's the co director's report. We could share our cute little video from the summer. We just uh, sneak in any questions, comments, or you know, yeah. one highlighted, or are we all ready for the video? All, all is well. Do we do name tags for annual meetings? For annual meetings? Um, I mean, we can buy some name tags, yeah. Or we might even have some still. So, Just but, like the hello. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I listen. like the idea of name tags. I also uh, wanted to ask, since we're broadcasting the meetings on Zoom, what do you think about little name tags that go in front of each person's place there's a lot of new faces now and you are trying to get to know us and we're trying to get to know you and anybody who's watching these meetings probably would love to know who's speaking yeah that's good you mean for, for our board meetings for right now. table yeah, yeah the table. yep for this table yep probably facing a little weird camera, camera rather than nice. Nice. Right. my feet yeah, yeah it might be, be hard to see. challenging with the owl but we could try it yeah Okay. Yeah, Sorry. I mean, I, I can give you feedback, just put them there and keep pointing them and then I'll be like, yes, I can see them all. <laughs> and then, and then it will help people know who's speaking. So it's odd because I'm sharing the video so that CJ can see it too. CJ, can you see the video? I have another yes. question. Yeah, I can see the video. Start um, no. Right now, because you've shared your screen, unless mm -hmm. I swipe over, let's see. Currently, uh, unless I double tap you, yeah, I can double tap you. And then I see Jen and Chad. Yeah, Chad's got the floor. Uh, do we have, or would we consider having like a policy in like uh, in regard to the way that we're sharing space with Vermont Public? If um, is this something that we might want to? to do more and have, I mean, it's, it seems like it's been happening with some other people from Vermont Public and maybe it would be a good idea to say, if we're gonna do that, you know, let's, you know. It's a great question, yeah. What is policy for it, yeah. you know, who would be available to share space here and, and at, at what sort of amount would, would it? Right, yeah, especially because I think we are. Is it, right, right, and we do feel like, is it's a great arrangement right now and we're happy to help them and i think that the question was like they had another person that wanted to come in here too and they were thinking about coming in and like it was like we might be almost at capacity because we do need to have two edit rooms for our staff and we do need to have one available for right. the public um so yeah that's a great policy yeah like how many people could we actually house during a an emergency or something <laughs> or yeah or during like or if, if the if the relationship works out you know if we're a community media center you know maybe like getting other media 
uh, uh, outlets and stuff working together is a good thing. I know that I've heard from people at Vermont Public for forever that they would love more collaboration and, and right, right. Walk, you know, with the community. Leader. So are you looking at them to help share the expenses? I, well, I would think so. You know, if there was like a subletting sure. sort of, right. uh, sort of thing, like, you know, other and even not just Vermont Public, but yes. maybe a person here who, you know, makes commercials or right, something right. like that. Freelancers or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we've talked about that, like maybe opening up to like a more co-working kind of space mm, would be yeah. cool. Yeah, I mean, that would be something that we want to figure out probably how much space we have. Yeah, I think in our contract with VCFA at the yeah, moment. Donation versus subleasing. Sub yeah. Leasing is not. not a lot. Yeah, the, the, the exact terminology. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's why. We have do we work. have anybody with? Oh, sorry. And I should start raising my hand. Do we have anybody with grant writing um, experience on the board now, or in the? Yeah, on the board. Of on the board or in on our staff? Sorry. Uh, both. I mean, most of the staff is also on the board, so. Well, they join board meetings, but they're not board members. But yes, everyone here. You mean everyone here? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I, I mean, I have grant writing experience. Chad, you guys have grant writing experience. Yeah. No. no. I've tried. You tried. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm still trying. Yeah, I think it's yeah. a lot of my success rate is not that. Yeah, often. I, I think it's, <laughs> when you ask that question, it's actually followed by how often do you get the grant to <laughs> apply for? But it. just knowing your way around a grant application is yeah a skill set, and knowing yeah. where to find the right ones. Yeah. But yeah, so I, I I was wondering why. <laughs> I wonder if CJ has a, a well, specific I, I did, with what, uh, idea. Uh, well, mainly it's that um, uh, two things uh, that I have specific, but they're me. This is just throwing out a general direction and then a couple of possible specifics. Um, it would, you know, in terms of supporting business development in Vermont, especially small and rural business, which is an unusually rich area in Vermont and in America, but one with poor access to resources like ours, I wondered if we could pursue from, you know, VITA or the um, trying to Vermont, VITA being the Vermont Economic Development Authority, which uses Vermont's AAA bond rating to provide very low interest loans for, you know, for development of businesses, or perhaps something like the community access, I'm trying to remember the foundation name, but just something where we worked with maybe Elka and the Chambers of Commerce to say, here are grants to allow you to help promote your business. Mm. I think I recalling now, I, I think the last round of, and I, there, and there may have been a specific grant application Orca put in and got a response um, that was um, really let us know that we, we needed to do a little heavy lifting with strategic planning to show like we could back up what we were saying we would yeah, do. That was the that, Vermont. Is that an accurate summary? Correct. Or yeah, could you arts fill council. in the gaps? Yeah, so I mean, we heard from- That was the Arts Council. The Arts Council that we had uh, a, a decent request, but a lot of work to do for like kind of putting our money where our mouth is, or I guess or, mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, making sure that we are uh, reflective of the community that we are hoping to serve. So, I think that that's also maybe I'll, I'll add to that, CJ, what you're mentioning may be good for the like when we do have the board retreat and the strategic that feels like that could live at the strategic planning level because that is kind of that that commercial versus non commercial content creation that we uh, that we definitely you know have been very clear about for, for when community members do enter our our space to use our services and resources it is for non-commercial uh use right so i don't i don't know that would be yeah is the non-commercial use an absolute requirement i i apologize but i i need so, to go back and look at our founding documents so if a if a community member wanted to like i wanted to just highlight randolph businesses and i invited some and, you know, I invited the people from Kuyas and I invited the people from The Forge and I invited people from um, 
different businesses and that was my show, there'd be no problem there. But if if staff, if paid staff started doing a, sh I think the lines would get a little messier, but certainly anyway, and like the, the Pickens is right. If anyone wanted to do a show on, you know, the Montpelier recovery through the small business perspective. Yeah. Sure, wow. yeah. And I think yeah. that that's, like, yeah, it is a maybe a, a gray area like that, but I would, yeah, like if a business came in and they were like, I want to make content using your equipment, using your services, your resources and your staff to basically make a commercial, make yeah, a commercial so about my small that, business. Oh, that, line, that line is right. That would be on the other side of the line. Yeah, because that gets into the, essentially, that's not within our, our that would be, be some mission. Right. Yeah, but, but where is that, where, why do we have to have that line? Because I talked with my uh, people that I know who run WGBH down in Boston, and they're a nonprofit, and people rent their studios oh. exactly like that. Yeah. Well, because I think that the issue, uh, at least I from my perspective, is that we would be we would be essentially offering something for free that is is that that other like that a company is getting paid for, you know, like a production company, right? Like, and I think that at that point we would want to explore the idea of having like a for Profit production or access yeah. channels so have to spawn off an entity. Yeah, oh, and there's. Did I ask that, a, how was it that GBH's studios are used? I wasn't. I wasn't clear. That was. And book to rent them under their production services, um, and hire the crew specifically for projects you want to film there. So you're paying for that. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that that definitely the nonprofit yeah. can make money. Yeah, 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 you just yeah. can't benefit from the increased profits. Exactly. From what yeah. I understand, um, so what I, my big question is is like we're talking about a revenues decreasing from Comcast, and we're looking at one of the when I talk to other community media, media centers, it's like the reason no one ever does anything on these other things is is because they're still making all this money this other way. But if you're not trying to figure out another path, for sure, yeah. And another the other part of that is like, what is if we're the community media, what does the community actually need? Yeah. Does it need cable access shows all the time? Probably it's good, and that's why we're here. But I think that maybe yeah, good... what CJ is talking about, the business development and, and that sort of stuff, I think people would probably say that they want that more. A needs yeah, assessment, I mean, I think needs assessment is something, assessment is part is something of that we've talked about with this strategic plan. I think all of this this conversation should definitely be part of like what we we talk about in in the strategic plan. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, I, I could full circle back just Thank to you. let you know, historically, the response from the Vermont Arts Council created the outreach from, to Nathan. Mm. And so we are you know, kind of on the verge of completing that. So we actually had that thing scheduled for like some Tuesday, four to seven in March. And then something yeah. happened. Yeah, and we had to go. Yeah, yeah. reschedule it. And then it was like, we lost right. Rachel, yeah. stepped down, and then, so it's this series yeah. of like we're that close, actually. <laughs> um, so it looks like the fall; the timing would really be right. Mm -hmm. And it, it'll, I expect and, some. And all of these are time like that. I think this is awesome. I think you know that's the other thing is like we can kind of create our future too. Like that's the whole that's the, the point of kind of like looking at all this stuff that hasn't really been looked at, like mission yeah. policy. So if that's something that we agree upon. Going forward, like I think that there's models out there even within Vermont about having yeah. like like services that can be paid for. No, we've talked about that before. With CCTV. They do that really well. They yeah. do that really well about yeah. getting money yeah. for, for some of their stuff. They yeah. have, they have a spun off right. Yeah, they right. have a separate. And that doesn't kinda... stop us from doing. No, right. Uh, yeah, no, it's a clean. They have a clean defined yeah. line on which, yeah. which side of the aisle you're on, and um, yeah, uh, yeah. And after strategic planning, then. I anticipate we'll have enough definition to our different paths that the circles can really become active. And those those kind of conversations, I think, probably work better in a smaller group and then bring to the big and like, here's what we came up with. Right. Um, so that's, you know, we're looking at the horizon. It's not, I would imagine we're on October or November, maybe we get Nathan. We do have a date. Yeah, we'll mention that. In, oh, okay, in great, yeah. great, great. I'll get out of your way. <laughs> I guess we'll just wrap up the co-director's report with our video, and you guys can uh, smile and and laugh. Nice, with this, nice. Uh, a nice. This is our group. Uh, the volume is going. Yeah, check it. This is the group from Make TV. So this is eleven to fourteen year olds. They did uh, some parody game shows.
Maybe we'll just leave it there, yeah. Sorry, hold on. Let me... ah, this is the fun one. Sure. Yeah, this is their highlights reel, I guess. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bigger. Sleeker. Faster. Stronger. Legal. Probably. More. Everything. Word. This is IMAX. This year, Apple has brought you the greatest and most powerful computer of all time. Welcome to the trivia show In Jeopardy, where you pick a category of questions and try to answer correctly. Although I don't think you will. Out you come, contestants. Quickly now, quickly now, quickly now. Have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Let's, let's, but before we begin, let's talk, let's have some backstory from each of you. What, what, what's your occupation? What's, what, where do you live? And what are your juiciest mistakes? My occupation is Robot Ivan. I live in that box and I would really love to be freed. Yeah, we, we don't want any of that here. How about you, Elon? What's, what's your history? Oh, no, everybody knows. You can just look it up on the internet. That's okay. It's okay. How about you? How about you? Where, where do you live? What's your occupation? What's all that? I live somewhere on the world, and my job is to go to sleep. Well, you know, they do flag these days. Let's have the first category and the first question. How about you first, Robert? Wait, 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 wait. You, first, you, first, you, first. you first. have to ask Elon. I did ask Elon. When? Now, yeah, yes, I did, I did just now. None of that, none of that. Leave it to the host. Now, pick your question. I mean, your category. Pandemic's history, 20s history, Jeff Bezos history, and music history. Mm, let's say... Come on, pick, 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 pick. I don't have all day. Mm, 2000s history. Okay, okay, okay. So, who was the president of the United States in 2020? Hmm. It was you, Elon Musk, wasn't it? Or was that a couple of years later? Wrong, wrong, wrong! That's on, Elon, your question. Which category do you pick, Elon? Hmm? Hmm? I can't hear you. Oh, oh, Jeff Bezos history. Okay, fine, fine. What year was Jeff Bezos born, Elon? What was that? No, you're wrong! The... Next one. The movie Up. That's a weird answer. Quiet, 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 quiet! Now, uh, pick your category. Pick your category. History. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Now, question, question. Which artist had all top ten song spots in this country? Uh... Hurry up! Mr. Beast. Wrong! 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 Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance. So you only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Welcome back to In Jeopardy, the trivia show where these contestants try to answer the questions and will probably fail. Now, let's have a bonus round, people. 10 seconds to answer the question, starting now. Which, what is the best game show of all time? 10, nine, uh, eight. The price is wrong. Seven, wrong, six, uh -huh. five, what? Wrong, wrong, four, three. In Jeopardy. Three. You win the game show. And your prize is this very nice cardboard box. Gimme. I can sleep in this now. Finally, you I can, can like, you like, replace you can this you dirty like. thing. Uh, this was in Jeopardy, folks, and now we're ah! out. This year, Apple has brought you iNoggin. Think the same. We are iNoggin. We are iNoggin. We are iNoggin. Charge your iNoggin with our revolutionary wireless charging system. Transfer data easily with our state-of-the-art airdropping system. It's your computer. It's your phone. It's your wallet. It's an internet chip that connects to your brain. 
Side effects include vomiting, fever, brain rot, dementia, null effect, blood loss, nothingness, and death. Do not attempt to take out, off without a doctor, plus $59.99 a month for brain access. That's, that's it. Great. Thank you. It's silliness. They had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah they did. They always yeah. seem to get how long this made TV camp? They always seem to be very prolific. Right. Yeah. yeah. You said that's a shortened version. Yeah, too, right? like, I think it's 18 really... and a half minutes. We had the full version. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Last year, they spent like an hour long program. <laughs> yeah. Like they, they really had to cut that one. record and then sat down for the week. Yeah. And... Yeah. They just they start it's... right away. I think after day one, they're ready to. They come up with ideas the first day, and then they just start going at it the second day. What did the youth doctors focus on? So we'll be showing that at the sure. annual meeting, but uh, that one was really cool. Uh, that They put a lot of work into that as well, and that's the 15 to 19-year-old group. And they did a um, uh, conversation with elders in the community. Mm. Uh, so it was like youth talking yes. to elders and elders mm. talking to youth. They talked about social issues and local issues and there was uh it was, yeah no, no, did you watch it i think i sent it to, to you when i was sent I, it out I've, I've shared it okay i can't commit as to whether i'm okay I'll that's all right it. well it. you'll see well, i haven't flagged to watch at some point <laughs> yeah chad's company chad and kristen's company well told films was one of our sponsors so that was cool and uh, yeah and it was awesome and for the first year we had guest filmmakers come too so that was kind of a, the highlight of that one so the, like People came and uh, every at the end of every day and kind of talked about like filmmaking in the real world. And mm -hmm. Sierra came, right? Sierra came, which was really cool on the last day. Yeah. Very cool. There's a filmmaker from Bristol. Wait, she yeah, from Bristol. Yeah, County. Yeah, she's yeah. actually from, but from here in Vermont, whose film just premiered at Sundance this oh, yeah. year. So she oh, thought, nice. yeah, yeah go to Sundance. The Sierra, Sierra. Rick, yeah. Yeah. Actually, just last weekend was uh, finally had its Vermont premiere in at the Middlebury One New Filmmaker yeah. Festival. So oh, hopefully we'll get yeah. to show it here sometime. Oh, so we have right. theaters again. You know what yeah. the title of it is? Yeah, it's called Junam. J O O N. Is Ronnie an American? Yeah, yeah, she's a Ronnie. It's about a story. Like it's cool looking at her family and three generations of her, uh, you know, her grandmother in Iran and her. Her, oh. her mother in, from Iran lived in Vermont and her growing up in Vermont. Yeah, it's cool. I remember seeing yeah. a little weird. Yeah. yeah. You and, have, like, sorry, go ahead. No, no, like no. an open movie theater because movie theaters are closed. I know. Right? You yes. Can, you can do it. Don't that's do a question it. for the Greenmont Film Festival. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a great yeah. question. Cool, like going yeah. there with blankets and everything. Yeah. <laughs> we have shown the, cool. the very first year at, with the Vermont Youth Documentary Lab, we uh, had some sponsorship from Sun Comment and they let us use their blow up projector and we did a, a screening of uh, the grass and the grass and the grasshopper on the state house lawn and that was right. awesome. yeah. yeah. Is it cool. in tough shape right now or you know I think I they're know. doing they're like everybody else they're just yeah. raising money on their own and Ivan our uh, director with the Greenmont Film Festival is she's meeting with James I think this week and she's okay. going to get an update. And with his the whole downstairs yeah. theater flooded. They did the flood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think they have yeah. a downstairs theater. Yeah. And yeah. They're not like the other yeah. buildings on that street, they're yeah. basically the ones like ripping the floorboard yeah. and yeah. Yeah. everything. So yeah. that starts. Uh, we used the uh, the church courtyard. I've done a couple of film, three film screenings there. Yeah. It's actually pretty nice with that sun common screen. Yeah. Because it doesn't blow away. The church courtyard I think works like, yeah, yeah but the, that's a, those are good ideas for like auxiliary events yeah. too with the green mountain like that. Yeah. And we're shooting for March, the traditional time of it. It's it did go back to March, back. didn't it? I think it's back, yeah. back at March. We've yeah. yeah. gone back oh, for you guys. Winter. Yeah, if you guys don't know, we kind of are that took over the management of the Green Mountain Film Festival, and Whoa. uh, that'll be coming yeah. back to Montpelier. Hopefully, it's just kind of things are up in the air. Obviously, we're, we're meeting tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Have to so come on the show and talk about it. Oh yeah! Wow, I think Pavon and yeah, I'd like to. Someone else could talk about it. <laughs> we're good. Um, Pavon and Travis. Yeah, yeah. Send them over. I know. Although we have Travis is moving to LA. Oh, okay. yeah, we have an update for that too. Okay, yeah, so we talk tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, that's yeah. a different meeting. <laughs> More ground to cover on the co directors before. That's it. Guys, thank you for entertaining us. So then we would entertain a motion to accept if there are no further questions. So moved. Pat so moves.
to accept the uh, code reference report. And is there a second? Don't be shy. I'll second. Thank you, Dave. Seconding, accepting of the um, code reference report. All those in favor of doing so, please indicate by saying aye. 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 And opposed. And that's unanimous. Thank you. Now, strategic so planning update is uh, this standalone item. Is that you, Jen? So I think um, a little bit. So I think we just wanted to um, touch base about our plan to restart it. And I think um, we are focusing on circles. So we just thought maybe this would be an opportunity for the new folks to choose a circle that they wanted to be in. So we've got the policy circle, which talks about policy. We have the outreach circle and then the facility circle. So each circle kind of lives with each one of the co-directors. So I, I'm in the policy circle. Christopher is part of is the outreach and then Zach is the facilities. So if you wanted to, and I think what we were trying to do, and we will, we were also thinking that with the new board members, we could do a little onboarding where we could give you the documents of what we worked on for the previous strategic planning, as well as any policy, plus like how the circles kind of became to be. And then um, kind of, if you had questions about Orca or anything like that, we could just do like some nitty gritty stuff and then hopefully get you ramped up so that when we start to do the retreat, that hopefully, I mean, not that it'll, I feel like we'll all be in the same boat of like knowing stuff and not necessarily having the super history of what Orca did, but that we can move the vision forward. So I think uh, afterwards we can try to schedule some time if that sounds like not too much. <laughs> and then I think, um, so that's what's, you know, part of the onboarding process of the new board direct or board members. And then I think the other bit was whether, um, how we wanted to, I think we're thinking of scheduling the retreat. And we, I think, so it's a little bit back when, when we talked about doing the retreat, we talked about, do we want to do one chunk for the retreat, which would be a three hour block, or do we want to do two chunks of one and a half? And I think the previous was that it was a three hour block. I think that everyone felt like that would be manageable. And yeah, it was consensus and scheduled that way. Yeah. And so whether, and I thought we'd, you know, it would be helpful just to bring it back up of that's, you know, with the new board members that that's what was kind of thought of and whether that also felt okay too. And then um, I think we were thinking that the retreat, we were kind of pondering, I think, so not, we were hoping to have the next meet the next month be a working month of, of circles and getting everyone ramped up and up to date and maybe refreshing people's memories about what was talked about previously and then we'd have the board meeting and whether we wanted to do the retreat retreat the same month as the next board meeting or the month after yeah. is kind of how we were planning it so does that to summarize use well fourth week of september to just warm up the circles Mm -hmm. The next board meeting I've got October 24th is the uh, fourth Tuesday in October. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you suggesting the, the retreat happen prior or after that? After mm -hmm. we looked at that, that sounds more so. Yeah, better, so yeah, we wanted like if there was, the yeah, we were thinking after, but at the same time, if there was like, if there was a feeling of momentum and wanting to like do it. We wanted to offer earlier, but we would prefer after. <laughs> Agreed. So. Yeah. yeah, so that would be, again, November's our off month, so that would fall in nicely, that our strategic plan would fall in. In that November. So our, our two next mm -hmm. off months are actually on. Mm -hmm. They're not full board meetings, but we've got a, a warm up on the circles, which could easily be remote, right? Um, yeah. And, uh, Probably live and in person if we get 100% live and in person for strategic, strategic planning, but of course life happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and Nathan would be here um, for that. I think CJ's very here. Oh, yes, CJ, CJ has a, a comment. Well, but she's not driving. She <laughs> also <laughs> put He's doing something. To warm Maybe up on the, the circles. On the um, it would, I mean, it would be September. Hand. It would be on the off month of September. Probably fourth week, just because we usually hit the fourth week. But uh, CJ, are you back with us? I'm with you. Okay, so we know, we saw that your hand was raised. CJ, you're really uh, raised. Yes. 
Audio is rough. I don't know if you kill your video. We may be able to hear you smoothly. Are you able to see what I write into the chat window? Yes. Uh, people who are close to the screen can. Your audio just got a lot better by killing your video. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Um, just to, to help everybody, is there a written description of what each circle covers that our, our new board members could consult? And also, is there a list of what board members are associated with each circle? Yeah. Yes. So, that, yeah. Yes. and we can, um, so we do have a circles document that will be part of the mm -hmm. onboarding. Right. And, um, and I think that the current circles, if I can remember correctly, was um, CJ, you're in outreach. Dave, I believe I have you in outreach. Chad, you're, you were in facilities. And then I think Michael was in policy and Rachel was in Rachel. policy. Um, and I believe Carlos was facilities. Yeah. But CJ, your question just underlines the need to use that September to rewarm up the circles because yeah. we did a lot of that work and the docs exist, but have I looked at them in months? No. <laughs> So to answer your question, CJ, I can send you a link to the documents if you're looking for that link, as well as to anyone else. Great. I'll send the new board members those documents as well. Okay. Do we want to just now say that fourth Tuesday in September is our circles warm up? I need each um, I need each uh, co-director that's leading each circle would um, facilitate the scheduling. Sure, yeah. So the 26th? 26th. That would be, yeah, I don't think that that would be. And I guess if, yeah. if, if facilities needed to do the 27th because, but we might just semi nail down, and make it a little real. But uh, each of the three co-directors would outreach to the, for the, their circle members. So all I, we need to know is Palin and Pat, who would be, where would you like to land? And I don't know if that's a decision tonight or just- Yeah, we don't want to see you. Yeah, we like to see the whole- Yeah, yeah. you can get back to us. Yeah, why don't we do that? Getting acquainted yeah. with the docs and the purpose of the beach and the, the scope of each yeah, guy. Which one do you need? There's also that, uh, right? Uh, we have to balance them out yeah. a bit, right? Yeah, there's the balance issue. I think they're all pretty even right now. You yeah. know? I think, well, I was going to say, I think policy could use we one just because we lost one. Oh, right, right. Um, That's who, what I who, has, who has said, hey, check in with me in a year. Mm -hmm. And with uh, we and we still have room for one. So mm -hmm. potentially Rachel's back, but it's who knows when. Um, so Carlos and Chad are facilities. It will be again six to eight, right? The meeting. I think that one on the twenty sixth could potentially happen around like if it's just a group of three or something. Maybe it kind of happens around their availability, so it could be yeah, uh, yeah. So I just want to block setting that date. Yeah. Calendar? Should I do like five to seven? Sure. Yeah, I think the evening. So I will not have anything about, else. So. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. And then the board retreat. That's probably a good one to block. Is fourteen. <laughs> Did you guys play around with November 14th? Is that a Tuesday? That would be the, that's Tuesday. What, just because based on the school and the holiday of Thanksgiving, that break, it's school break. It's Veterans Day. And yeah, we said the 14th makes sense. And it's a Tuesday. All right. Tuesday tradition, four to seven, we would do that. That would be the full three hours. Okay. Lots of coffee and lots of pizza. And then it is a retreat. Does that mean be physically somewhere else or have it here or who cares? Or when I hear retreat, I think. I was going to say, then you're, well, renting, a, that's right. then you're renting a space and stuff. Yeah. So I guess we can ask it may be that if this is the space works well and we could touch base with um, Nathan. But if it, I guess, you know, we're happy to entertain if people want to go to a different location because it might be different. Yeah. Like, Put things out and whether maybe another space yeah. on. And I was just thinking out loud when I heard the word retreat. But. So, um, let us know if there's any preferences. We're just happy to start to research stuff. Just heads up, we just hit the eight o'clock hour. Okay. So it's peeper season. <laughs> yes, right. So
So I think that was it on the strategic planning, just to try to get some of that stuff okay. done. Thank and you. And then it kind of rolls right into old business. Yep. Uh, do you have an annual meeting update? So I think, you know, just it's the 31st and I, we just wanted to kind of remind about annual meeting and then the meeting after that is officers. Yeah, I have that on my little list. So um, that is the 24th. Um, I guess, would it make sense if anyone is interested in um, the chair, treasurer, secretary? Um, if anyone is just interested in entertaining any of those three positions, maybe it would be contact Chris. And it may not even be like for this go round. It may be like, you know, I'd be, because I've done this for five years and I'd, I'd be happy to keep going, be happy to hand off and just in that, or maybe have an overlap year or something. So just, just if, if you, does that make sense, Chris? You've generally been the That's board, yeah, yeah, yeah. liaison. Yeah. Um, so if you're like, you know what? Um, and then Chad, you are you're interested in handing off the, the baton mm -hmm. as yeah. interim. Rachel was also our secretary. Mm -hmm. um, so there's no term one. Where's Rachel? Right. Rachel no. Yeah. I think um I think she's still at Waterbury. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's an annual annual, it's the bylaws say it's an annual uh, nomination and vote for officers the board meeting following the annual meeting. And I'll actually make a little at the annual meeting to get us back right with the bylaws. Um, our our bylaws actually say our annual meeting happens in May. COVID messed that mm -hmm. all up. No one's gonna. And yell. then we just did we just did some fall. This will be our final fall one, sort of like um, get back into our old rhythm uh in 2024 that sounds right we're just ready for it yeah yeah i'm ready for it yeah. um i guess that's all remaining within old business i think um other old business yeah the other old business was just new business it was in the notes or it was in the minutes and so i think our our there was a request to just keep track of old or new business and old business so okay. i've been putting everything that was listed as new business in the previous minutes as old business with this agenda and it could be that it may just need to be taken off once it's i guess that's a good done. way to keep track <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so i think um cj asked about the um full attachment revenue that is i think been floating around that's the bill that um van is putting out to the legislation about the full attachment revenue and i don't know that we have numbers for that yet. So, um, and I think that is also, there was, we might be able, we can, if we get that CJ, we can email that information to you as well. I think um, some of it is, I think they're still, like some is not ready for public. So it may be just a rough number. And so- Yeah, that's what I was going Is there actually a bill with actual language or is it kind of in recommendation zone and still working on- Yeah, it's a, I think it's a little bit of both. It was introduced at the end of the session. So oh, it'll be introduced in January. Yeah, okay. it's a Was it a full bill or a- uh, Summary. It, it, a they call it a short form. Short form. It's just it's trying to give you yeah. the title. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, it's short form, yeah. Okay, so- it's, And then it'll, it's I there. think it's on its way to get a full bill in January. Yeah. But, yeah, as far as the numbers and revenue stream, that's still in there. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So, and we might maybe move it to the next. Yeah. So, we're going to take it off the old business. I feel like old <laughs> business of the respected revenue yeah, is done. Yeah. January, the real bills rolled out. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then any old business from people's memories or new business? Well, could I ask what, what Jim is doing is really good to keep a track of what's outstanding. Yeah. And so with back to the discussion we had about the Edward Jones issue, would that be added to that yeah. outstanding I mean, we do, list? We to, do know that keep um, track of we it. do know that the financial team, myself right. and, and uh, our Edward Jones person are meeting. Um, but I think as a board, it would be good that's for certainly us. Because I forget in, by next week. And I just um, in the minutes. Yeah, maybe we'd add that to the just to keep track. Yeah, I think every, all, all minutes should have an outstanding issues. Yeah, and keep yeah. track of it because you know we, how that goes. 
we we used to have a more nebulous old business and we are getting it yeah, more like right. let's let's make sure we get that catch all that's call. Great. Um so thanks for keeping an eye on that. Um and then any new? Yeah, I had um I asked Mark when to come in and he had planned the person for questions. That was rough audio there. Anyone get that? No. no. Can you repeat that for us? Because it was breaking up. Or it might be a tight. Yeah, you know what? I'll I'll just I'll just post a quick note to the chat. Okay. I'll get Appreciate it. I think she suggested having Mark Gwen from Amber Jones come back in. Oh. Which is probably a good idea since there's a lot of Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I idea. um you didn't get that. That you. may make sense for the October meeting. Um uh, December is also budget season. Maybe it makes sense for that. But um October should be a pretty yeah. a pretty standard one. There we we should be able to book them for 20, 20 minutes, something. Mm -hmm. The October 24th. Yeah, I'm I'm I think the the meeting with the smaller group we're gonna get in the weeds a bit, but to get back global with the whole board and mark is a really good idea. Thanks, CJ. And that also dovetails with strategic planning. Um new business more. Hand up. No, yeah. yes, because people will be asking us if they've read the same article in the bridge that I read, which is that uh, Rebecca Holcomb is starting a thing called uh, the Greenway Center for Equity and Sustainability using buildings on this campus. And um, that the Katie Gustus and Sunday were hoping to keep the current tenants all uh, able to be in on the campus in the buildings. But it sounds like uh, they're sending some of their courses out to Colorado. And so if somebody asks us, board members, what does all that mean for us on MCFA? Is everything going to be just the same as it's been? Everything's going to be just the same. Yeah. Well, they, they had, uh, they said that the uh, new owners are uh, not only thrilled to have tenants, but they're hoping to keep their tenants, you know, as a, as, as they become. So yeah, they're, they're keeping their tenants here for now. Yeah. So we're staying and they're only, although they did buy, I think not, you know, it was split between the new school and the, the center for or the engineering uh, school. It, uh, I, they're only really using it as like a pilot program right now at Noble Hall. Um, so I think they're taking it slow. And I did listen to the the, meet, the meetings available if you're interested, the community meeting that they held where Rebecca Holcomb talks about it. Yeah. Did you we go? Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, I listened to it the next day. Yeah. I, but we there. We covered it. Yeah. Was it well attended? Actually, no. no. Yeah, it was the earlier was, one we covered those. Yeah, it was, it was so interesting. Just, I think that the, the neighborhood's been really supportive of, of them, you know. Staying and, here. I mean, there was a whole worry you know about six months ago that they were ready to sell the college and that might be I mean, it well they did sell the college yeah. well i'm just saying though that that usually means to people well the college won't be being the college anymore right yeah, yeah. now it's it's i think it's like people are excited of the potential of having students well, here fine. yeah it's going to start off very slow i think they only have five students is what i've heard so <laughs> okay it's, yeah and the students will actually be staying here in the oh, in the, the door. Just, okay, you, yeah, it's actually all the information is on their website, which we can share their website. No, no, I got. Yeah. I just was curious. It's a it's a semester away program, and the semester is spent in Montpelier. Okay, yeah. who recalls how many years we are into our five year lease? Are we three yeah. years in? I think. I think our okay. lease twenty twenty five. I feel like we have two more years, and then we have two extensions on the lease. That's part of our lease. And they did when Katie came around to talk to us. We said, you know, what about those extensions? Are those are they going to honor those? And then she said yes. Right. So I feel like we yeah. have some cushion in terms of they're looking, they're not looking to move us out really quickly or anything. So that I think, um, and they may just, you know, depending on how much how many students come through, they may just keep these two because they pack. I mean, there's the center or contemporary dance at the yeah, studio. As, so the yeah, there's a there's bunch something. of they've added more tenants in. So I'm wondering if they're hoping to just keep these two as tenants and then have the rest of the, the sale properties are elsewhere. Yeah. yeah. So 
But in terms of us moving, I feel like they were pretty reassuring about our lease That's and great. the extensions. Great to hear that. Yeah. All righty. Um, that was sort of all kinds of business. <laughs> And I did uh, just quickly, sorry, I met the programming uh, director today, Hannah, uh, and I invited her and the students to the annual meeting. So, so that was, uh, you'll see them and maybe yeah. we'll talk to them. Maybe so, yeah. yeah. So, so they're, they're live and on. They're, they're here, yeah. On. They moved in and, and, and she asked if there was opportunities for them to engage with uh, our, our organization. I said, of course, yeah, excellent. What part of the campus has the new school? The new the hatch there? In the alumnex building, and they're in. It says there's 15 to 20 students for the Hedge School. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, it is listed as like who bought which buildings. Yeah, yeah, so I think it was alumnex and Bishop Hatch is the two buildings right there, and that's that's the new school. And then yeah. I think everything else is the the Institute, the Greenway Institute, so, except for College Hall and the Green, which okay. didn't get sold. Thank you. And a uh, stone. Oh. Yeah, so, stone. so and I think the three Greenway. buildings that were going to the Greenway wellness center this, didn't get yeah. sold. Yeah. So, 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 so our, our landlord, yeah, they, yeah, so we'll be realize, yeah, we'll be having a formal meeting in September, Katie said, yeah, with the new landlord. Yeah, so if it wasn't clear, Stone and and the next one over. Shoemaker or Shoemaker. Shoemaker. Yeah, is, is, is also part, part of the, the sale to Greenway. But we're still making out the checks too. Yeah, yeah. Not, so. so no change in the amount we're Sure, no. just who is going yeah. so the See. lease will be up that season she i think any other new business at 8 12. Okay. don't hold them <laughs> <laughs>